Hey everybody, Jerome, B-Fam Cooking. You know what this is, another cooking episode. That's right, we're gonna make a recipe for using butternut squash. And that's a squash you normally get in that late, you know, middle of October, early to late November. You're gonna use it, it's one of those fall recipes. Use up all those, those hard, hard vegetables, root vegetables. Uh, you may wanna have it for like Friendsgiving or Thanksgiving. Just like my wife and I used to make. My wife makes this curried recipe, curry butternut squash. I like that, that's good, but for those of you who don't like curry, I'm gonna make my version of it, which doesn't have any curry in it. Mine has a little bit of bacon on top, you don't have to have it, and it uses a little bit of uh, chicken stock. Chicken stock, you can uh, use vegetable stock instead of chicken stock if you wanna make it a complete vegan recipe. But all these vegetables and this fruit an apple is going to be used, and I hope you enjoy it. All right, so how do you make it? Butternut squash soup. We're gonna peel this, prep this, do all our meats and floss, then we're gonna roast it. You know, roast it in the oven, 375, let it cook down for a few minutes until it's nice and, and brown. Then we're gonna take it out, puree it, uh, add in some chicken stock, and then we're gonna serve it up. It's gonna be fantastic. If you have homemade croutons or or uh, even, uh, what is it my wife likes to use? She likes uh, pumpkin uh, seeds that you can put on top, roasted, toasted. You can get those in the store. You don't have to make them yourself. You can also use the seeds inside the butternut squash if you want, roast those off. I'm not gonna do that, but you can do it, right? Uh, parsnips, best time to get them is around now because it's one of those holiday seasons. But don't forget, this is a great recipe for Friendsgiving, Thanksgiving. Uh, I don't know what uh, persuasion you are, but uh, Christmas or Hanukkah, you can get this in here. It's, it's definitely something that you can have for all of the different uh, holiday gathering occasions. I know this year is a little bit different because everybody's having a smaller gathering. But just think, this could be something you can start people off who are actually living with you, you know, as you're, as you're doing what you're supposed to do, which is, uh, you know, keeping everybody safe, all right? Let's get into this, do our meats and plots, start peeling this stuff and get it roasted. Okay, so we have the vegetables ready. Uh, obviously, you should uh, put some olive oil on them. We need our salt. Just a little bit of salt. Let some of that help get some of that water out. pepper a couple of sprigs of thyme the roast with it and just take that out before it goes in homegrown stuff My wife does a great job of gardening also if you check out her uh, check out my wife's uh, YouTube channel you know Cindy's success See what she's doing over there. For those of you who want more than just what I'm giving you. Some sage leaves, throwing that in there, a couple sprigs of that. Roast that off. Okay, so we got our aromatics. Um, so that's sage, that's thyme, right, uh, on both trays. Uh, we're gonna just roast it off. It's got some olive oil, some salt and pepper on. This is the oven, 350 roasted. Okay. So we're at that point where we've taken the roasted vegetables out of the oven, and now we are going to begin to puree it along mixed with some bone broth, uh, and then we're gonna cook it in 
pot and reduce it a little bit and we should be done. That's basically it. So it took about 30, 40 minutes. I had to raise temperature a little bit just to get it roasting. I had too much vegetables in the pan, so that's usually what happens. You just gotta get that little bit of, of cooked doneness in there. So let's get these veggies blended, pureed. So I use a Vitamix. I would, I, I know a lot of people say that having you have a right amount of gadgets in your house, the certain gadgets you should have. This blender, I cannot, I cannot uh, say anything more about. It is, it is absolutely fantastic. Right, um, well worth the investment. It is an investment. Look at, you know, seven inch change uh, for a blender. Sounds weird, but uh, I had the the Nutra Blend and the other ones and the cheaper ones. Uh, they, but one burned out in one session. This hasn't burned out. It's got a lot, like a great guarantee. Uh, well worth the investment. So let's get this in the get these vegetables into the blender. here for taste. I may need to add a bunch of stuff, maybe a little sugar, it depends on the vegetables, if they're sweet enough, and uh, obviously we already have most of the seasoning in there, probably some more salt. Yeah, definitely need some salt, maybe a little touch of butter, maybe some cream. Definitely, definitely more broth. Let's get this. Get some more vegetables in there. Oh, I know what else I need. Garlic. Now, roasted garlic is sweet, so. I would suggest you use, I have some roasted garlic that we keep in the refrigerator uh, that you can use. You can just pop it out of there, pop it right in there. Mm. Just a couple of cloves of roasted garlic, straight into the puree. I mean, roasted garlic is real simple, you just need all you need to do is just take it, take the garlic, add a little bit of olive oil, wrap it in some tin foil, and as you're cooking something uh, above 350 uh, for a few minutes, and then it comes for a few minutes, like more like an hour. Uh, then you can just pop that in there, pop it right on out. Enough garlic. That should be good. parsnips, your carrots. I've already removed this, the thyme sprigs or stems, uh, but left the thyme itself that was roasted with the butternut squash. Apple. Carrots. We can balloon this up some more.
So I'm going to add a little bit of nutmeg. Uh, butternut squash soup puree, well, soup. Uh, I added a little bit of bacon on there just so you can see uh, the goodness because I really like my meat. And I add a little bit of sour cream. Mm. That well-rounded vegetable with that little bit of touch of mm. meat. Very smooth. Smooth because of the Vitamix. You know that. Vitamix is well worth it. The bacon adds just that little touch of smokiness. Mmm. Mmm. You need the texture. If you're not gonna have like the crunchy bacon, maybe you should put the seeds on, like some pumpkin seeds or even the butternut squash seeds roasted with a little salt. It is perfect. Can't wait for you to have this butternut squash soup.